quickly I felt it but if only I could say it to you I try to find the words that might remind you of the things that I've been writing for you It's just like I'm in a dream and you Thank <laughs> you. 
to the right of the coffee table. Okay. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah. So just to, yeah. Uh, stage middle. <laughs> We're gonna take a couple, okay? Get comfortable. That's a couple. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> no problem. One, two, three. Taking one more for safety, safety. One, two, three. Alright, we got some digital cuts going, digital cuts going. Three. Beautiful, then. Beautiful. You guys look amazing. Uh, last one. I wonder if I can get in there with a the timer. Yes. 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 yes! Everyone, we have to do like the sorority way. Look at the yeah. front, get lower. Yeah. Get low, low. Okay, good. I think this will work. All right. Is it blinking? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> you might be good. Am I blocking someone? No, you're good. Go. continue to bloom in its own ways. Depends, doesn't matter the distance. I mean, I feel like as adults, like friendships just come in and out, but it's all, okay. I'm gonna make a longer speech, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So, when I decided to move out of LA, I thought I would never move because I started to really find people that I love in LA. So for a while, I thought that I'll never leave. But I got to a point that I didn't know existed where once you really love and trust people, you leaving doesn't mean you guys just obliterate in your friendship. <laughs> so I have the trust that we still continue to have our own relationships in different ways. So it actually became because I love so many people here. I, it's almost like home where I can trust that I can leave it and things will still be okay. So I want to thank you guys. I honestly, I'm not close with my family. So you guys really are my family. So I want to thank you. Okay, I'm gonna blow it up. <laughs> 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 it's definitely a little more sad and intimate, but hey, we all went there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about how I'm about to move to the Netherlands and how my how I feel about that, right? I'm, it's just I find it very difficult to process emotions in a busy time because it's physically training and physically debilitating to constantly feel at the moment when I need to have so much done so I can actually get through the moment, right? Of course, I'm so excited and grateful for the things that are coming ahead, especially with the way that the world is lining everything up. But I, I, when I think about what I'm be before that, I talked about how I'm, I'm not really close with my family. And for me, my friends really are my family. And just being having this last couple of weeks when I really get to spend time with them and see how we become close. And when I feel that and experience that for me, there's some parts of the world that I never really thought was real. And I never believed that it could happen. And I hear about it, but I didn't ever think that it could. But when I have the kind of connections and moments and thoughts and conversations and care that I see and I experience that I can't lie about, that I can't deny with my friends who I've gotten so close to who are my family, it just makes me believe in the parts of the world that I never thought was real. And I'm just so grateful for that and to have connections like that. And I remember when I was starting my journey with my work and things were starting to pick up. Success, commercial success and growth is so, such a part of the way that I was raised in Korea. And that becomes your focus and you have a chance at it, like the way that it was going with momentum. I had a moment when I was like, okay, I think I have to shift gears. Cause at that point I can see very clearly, I've only got to that point of tangible success because I found such harmony and balance and love in my life my life, not just my work. Work is a part of my life, but my life, I found so much love in it and joy in it because of my friends, because of my work, because of myself, because of my art. And when that was all coexisting together is how I got to that point and I can see that now. But when that 
actually moment came and all the shiny things were tangible when within my reach. There was a moment I remember I was driving back to my old shitty Las Feliz apartment and I was at a stop sign when I thought, okay, it's time to get shit, shit time for shit to get serious. And I considered I'm gonna just work a lot harder and that uh, did mean cutting out or taking out a lot of times from other parts of my life and that didn't last long thankfully because I've really loved the kind of person I've become my conclusion was I don't want the kind of success that I can only get by sacrificing time with every part of my life that I love you know if it if it means I'll have to stop seeing the friends that I love. If it means I have to not do the hobbies and not get the rest that I need. And if that's what it takes for the kind of success that I think I want, I don't think I want it anymore. And that's when everything really changed for me. It really did. It's made me help me let go of this idea of what I've thought I wanted my whole life. What I've told I should be wanting really made me question, what do I really want?